Hello there and thank you so much for joining me here for another video on Trivi on the Acra Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais Ulix, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate at Acra Security. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Trivi GitHub Actions not only to scan your container images that you built through the UCSED pipeline, but also scan your file system, your code base before you actually package it up and then scan the configuration file, such as your Helm charts, before you actually install your application inside of your running infrastructure. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to show you how you can produce output reports of your security scans and then upload those reports to the GitHub security tab. Let's get started. So on the Trivi action on GitHub, on a specific GitHub repository, you can find lots of different examples on how you can use Trivi GitHub Actions, integrate Trivi, the action within your CICD pipeline itself. There are examples for scanning the container images that you built within the GitHub pipeline, the workflow itself, as well as scanning your local file system, your different um, code stack, code base, uh, before you actually package your container image. So in this tutorial, we're going to focus on these three different types of scanning. First of all, scanning the local file system that you actually use um, or that your application is built with for security issues. So that's the first thing we want to scan, the local repository with Trivi FS, Trivi file system. Then once we have scanned that, we can build our container image based on that file system, based on that repository, based on the code base there. And then use Trivi image, that command, to actually scan our built container image for security issues. Lastly, we can use Trivi config to scan our configuration files. For example, our Kubernetes YAML manifest, our uh, Docker configuration, as well as Helm charts, customized files, Terraform files, and so on, from its configuration issues. Now, here you could use Trivi config. You can also use the Trivi file system command, which we're going to do, and you can specify the scanner that you want to use the misconfiguration scanner scanners is config for misconfiguration scanner and then you specify the resource and this would be your local command that you would run in your terminal we have integrated in your CICD pipeline so here are the different examples on how you can use Trivi action there are lots of different examples on scanning your resources before you actually use and deploy them now we have here this workflow and within this workflow we first scan our file system for security issues so Trivi FS scans our local repository. As you can see, there are lots of different issues, also lots of issues where we can already fix them. Now you can specify you will only want to see security issues that have a fix available so you can fix them. Now in our case, we have the pipeline defined here. In our case, we set it for the pipeline not to fail. However, we could also say, okay, if there are security issues, for example, in our file system scan, we want to have the exit code to be one, non-zero, and then the pipeline will fail. Now, in this case, we don't care if the pipeline fails, uh, if the scan fails or not. If there are security issues, we're just going to go ahead and scan our file system, our local repository. Once that is done, we then build our container image based on the latest changes and we push it to our container registry. In this case, we're going to push it to Docker Hub. And then uh, we are basically going to build the container image. We're going to also push it to our Docker Hub registry that we locked in here. And then we're going to use Trivi for our Trivi image scan to scan that new container image for security issues. Now, in this case, we're going to use the operating system and library scanner uh, to scan our new container image for security issues. So here's the container image scan. As you can see, it's still building. So I can show you another um, scan with that. Um, and then once this is done, we actually want to check our configuration for security issues as well. Now, as you can see, the perform trivia performed the scan, but we can't actually see the scan. Now, why can't we see the scan output? Well, basically because I said that I want to have an output file with our report, with our security scan. And then I'm saying I want to upload that security scan to the GitHub security tab. What is the GitHub security tab? You can find this GitHub security tab over here. You can go to code scanning and you can see the scan result of the latest scans that we defined here. So this is basically the scan result of our Trivi file system scan using the misconfiguration scanner specifically to scan our home chart for security issues, specifically misconfiguration issues. So this is our home chart. 
CNS website. Here we specify, for example, the container image that we want to use. Now, this is obviously a different tag. You would want to update that. Um, <laughs> but this is ultimately the Helm chart that you can use to install, to deploy that new container image that we have built in the step before. So this is the, the action that we can use or like the step within the action, the job um, to then scan our uh, Helm chart for misconfiguration issues. And then we can upload the scan result of our critical and high security issues. That's what it's gonna show onto the GitHub security tab. Now, once it's here, we can go into the issue of like what has actually been reported. We can also check out the link with further information on that specific issue. And then what we can do is we can dismiss the alert. We won't fix it. False positive for us, maybe in our case, it's not valid. Uh, maybe it's a security issue that's only valid if it's used with specifically specific packages or in specific scenarios. Now, this is not the case here. So false positive wouldn't be really applicable or it's maybe something a security issues that's produced as part of a test. That could also be the case. So I can manage my security issues now through the security tab over here as well. Once I upload them to GitHub. Um, and this is ultimately how you can use Trivi in your GitHub Action Pipeline, as you can see over here. This is our workflow, and then we can hear the different jobs within that workflow. So we can go ahead and say container scan, and we can check the Trivi vulnerability scan, what it has been produced. In this case, in our latest container image um, that we've built, it couldn't find any high or critical issues uh, in that container image. Now we can specifically differentiate between artifacts that are used to build our deployment. So these are all of the artifacts that I've scanned before in this pipeline that I've just shown you. So our file system, our code base, basically the container image that's used to deploy that application that's used to package and deploy it. And then ultimately the configuration that says how our deployment, how our application is supposed to run. So for example, the number of instances that are supposed to spin up or the resource requests that our application can do and things like that. That's all configuration. So those are all resources that are static. They are not running in an infrastructure, right? So they are used for our deployment to build and actually create and manage our deployment. Now, then we have artifacts as they are deployed. Now, these might be, these are the same artifacts, like for example, the same container image. The difference is that one of them is static. It's built and it um, has a certain state at a specific time when it's scanned versus artifacts that are running. So for example, the container image within your cluster would be a running artifact, a deployed artifact. No, there's very little point in actually deploying your container image to, for example, a running Kubernetes cluster and then scanning that container, that Kubernetes cluster with your running container image from your CACD pipeline, because your CACD pipeline is actually, is there to um, check, for example, if any changes within your application change the security posture of your services, of your application. Now that is different to then having the running application and wanting sure to make sure on an ongoing basis that there are no new security issues. For that, you would use the Trivi operator to check resources on an ongoing basis. You wouldn't do that from your CICD pipeline. You would do it, for example, through the Trivi operator, through a tool running continuously in your cluster, in your infrastructure. Now, this is the Trivi operator. There's another video that's linked below specifically on the Trivi operator that helps you get started with the operator itself. If you do, if you want to do continuous scanning from within your infrastructure, from within your cluster, then do check out the Trivi operator. Here's the documentation. So the Trivi operator lives within your cluster and it can, for example, scan the Helm chart or the resources deployed through the Helm chart in your running infrastructure, in your cluster. Now, the scan from your CSD pipeline before of your Helm chart, for example, here scanning your Helm chart. That's scanning the configuration of the Helm chart. So it's not, it's not scanning it to identify new security issues on an ongoing basis. It's treating the Helm chart as a single point in time. For example, let's say you do changes within your application to the Helm chart. So let's say I'm saying I want to make changes to my home chart here that would trigger the pipeline. 
and then based on the pipeline being triggered it can see if there are new security issues within the Helm chart of the changes that I made to that Helm chart. So those are the different types of scanning that you want to do. Again, these are the three main types of like scanning your code base, scanning your container image, scanning your configuration files that you want to do within your CACD pipeline. And there is obviously also other static scanning that you can do. So for example, if you're using third party resources um, and you're installing those, so for example, other people's Helm charts, you might want to scan them on an ongoing basis before you deploy them or before you apply changes to, for example, their uh, installation options. So let's say you want to use somebody else's Helm chart, but you want to make configuration changes to the Helm chart. You can scan that Helm chart with your configuration changes through your CSED pipeline as well. But then to scan the deployed Helm chart, you will use something like the Trivia Operator. As always, I really hope this video was useful. All of the links to the documentation and the resources used, as well as the GitHub repository with the demo example, you can find below in the description. It would mean a lot to myself as well as to the contributors who make Trivi possible if you can go to GitHub to the Trivi repository and give us a star. Also, if you want to stay up to date with upcoming videos on this YouTube channel, please make sure to give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. I hope you have an amazing day and to see you next time. Bye bye.